Hi, Mike here to uh, give you a little demonstration on just how easy it is to install your hot plate. So here's a guitar, no hot plate, and we're just going to take this hot plate, which is in uh, a black finish, kind of unusual, but I uh, want to let you know you can get a hot plate in pretty much any color that, uh, that National uses. These are both sieve hole motifs. This is the bright nickel, and uh, on my guitar I've got the rubbed or the polished nickel. It's just a little duller, so it's not so mirror bright, but uh, some people prefer the prefer the bright. If you've got a bright guitar, and a newer bright guitar, and you want to put a hot plate on, go with the bright. I would say if you've got an older guitar, maybe a vintage guitar, and you like the look of that nickel, uh, I would get the brushed or the dulled nickel. It's uh, It just looks a little better than a brand new shiny uh, hot plate on it. Okay, but these are identical hot plates, just different color. So what we'll do is we're going to take the tailpiece off. We're going to loosen up the cover plate. I'm going to just take a capo and keep my strings in place here. So it's just sort of a keeper for your strings. Um, I just go around with a little Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to just take my cover plate screws off. No big deal. These, a lot of people think these guitars are very delicate, but it, uh, there's really no reason to be timid around them. As long as you don't give the cone a good shot, you're in good shape. I'll loosen my strings. Got the cover plate loose, and I'll show you one way that you can do this. I'm just going to take a little tape. Put it over here to keep the ball ends on the strings in place. I will loosen up my tailpiece here on the back. Actually take that off. And now everything is loose. There's the resonator. So I'm just going to twist this and send it through here and put it to the side. There's my original plate. And as long as you're this far in the process, maybe you're curious as to what things look like inside the guitar. This is your chance to check it out. There's your neck stick here. This is attached to the neck. And uh, so everything's looking good. If you happen to take this out, you want to make sure to get it back in so that the biscuit and the saddle don't get rotated because this will throw off your intonation big time. So what I, what I would do, this guitar has never been disassembled. I can tell by how tight those screws are in the cover plate. This is the proper alignment for the, uh, for the saddle. If you've got a flat top guitar and you look straight down on it, you'll see that from the treble to the bass, you need a little le extra length on your bass strings. But I'm just going to kind of set it right there. Eyeball it. It looks pretty good. Doesn't matter if it's, if it's pushed to one side, we can adjust that later. But we, what we don't want to do is rotate this upon putting it back in. Okay? You can see the little emblem here for National. That's kind of a little guide that should point to the back of the guitar. But anyway, we want the knobs towards the floor when we're playing it. Thanks, Chris. Yep. All right, so I've got it in place. You'll, you'll notice with the hot plate, the way it is designed, especially for replacing a vintage 
cover plate. These are little oblong screw holes. They're, they're, um, they're a little more forgiving um, to match up with the vintage instrument, and I haven't really run across one that doesn't fit since we have a little wiggle room there. Okay. So here I am. Got that on. I'm just going to secure it with a couple screws. Okay, that stays in place. I'm going to push my tailpiece in. The strings are still loose. They're still in place up here. And just snug that up. Okay, so I'm going to lift these. I can feel where the notches are. I'm just going to lift my strings back up and put them in their proper slots there. I can look under there, but I can't get a, a great look at everything. But I want to show you what you can do in case you're worried that maybe the, the cone has shifted a little bit while you were trying to be careful so that it didn't rotate, I'm just going to take the hand strap off of this plate. You might have noticed on my El Trovador, I pretty much keep it off all the time because I like to get down and mute my strings. So, there I can see it's in its proper alignment right now. Uh, another nice thing with having a removable hand rest is someone who has to maybe lower the action can do it so much more easily this way where they can get at it when the guitar is under tension. Um, so much easier than than taking the guitar apart and putting it back on and uh, and just seeing how your work is progressing. Here you can get everything just the way you want it and then put the hand rest back on. So this is a little one sixteenth. Allen wrench here. So I'll just put this back on. I'm, I like what I'm seeing here. Put my other screws back in. Take my tape off. Take my capo off. And, and there we have it. Nothing left to do but just tune it up and, uh, and plug in and away you go. You could hear a little of the cone trying to move under tension. It'll try to pull forward a little bit, that cone will. And uh, there is a little wiggle room there, but uh, that's basically all you have to do. You can see how easy it is. Now, the plate that I took off of this rocket has the cutout rezzo rocket hole motif. It's different, as you can see, from the sieve hole. This kind of plate is available as a hot plate. And uh, this is the finish they call Black Rust. Black Rust is available. If you had an old or a, a late model Black Rust guitar, and you said, well, I want a, I've got a Black Rust color, and I want a, a rezzo rocket hot plate, uh, to match, um, the best the best thing would be to, if you wanted the hot plate and you're getting a custom color like this, would be to have them make and paint the hot plate at the same time they paint the guitar. They can come pretty close at National, but it's not exactly a dead match guarantee if you were to get an aftermarket hot plate and want it in a custom color. It'd be pretty close, but you know, we can't guarantee that it would be a dead match. Um, at my website, MikeDowling.com, I get quite a few inquiries about, uh, you know, custom plates and if something's available as a Rezzo Rocket cutout. Um, 
and I work closely with uh, with the factory to try to help people if they've got colors or special orders. So uh, if you have any questions, just contact me through MikeDowling.com, and I'll be glad to, glad to help you. So there we go. Uh, easy installation. You can do it. Uh, you can do it in ten minutes on your kitchen table. No worries. So I hope that's helpful to you. See you later.